Malayalam cinema is the Indian film industry based in the southern state of Kerala, dedicated to the production of motion pictures in Malayalam. It is also known by the sobriquet Mollywood in various print and online media a portmanteau of Malayalam and Hollywood. It is the fourth largest film industry in India. The films produced here are known for their cinematography and story-driven realistic plots. Works such as Marana Simhasanam and Vanaprastham were screened in the Uncertain Regard section at the 1999 Cannes Film Festival. Marana Simhasanam garnered the coveted Camera d'Or Golden Camera. For that year, in 1982, Elipothium won the Sutherland Trophy at the London Film Festival, and Most Original Imaginative Film of 1982 by the British Film Institute. Rajiv Ankle's Guru 1997 and Salim Ahmed's Adaminte Makan Abu 2011 were Malayalam films sent by India as its official entries for the Best Foreign Language Film category at the Academy Awards. Adore Gopalakrishnan has won the International Film Critics Prize for his works such as Mukamukam 1984, Anantaram Matilakal Vidhayan Kathapurushan and Nizhal Kutu 2002. .Other films which achieved global acclaim include Kemin 1965, which received a Certificate of Merit at the Chicago International Film Festival, and a Gold Medal at the Cannes Film Festival for Best Cinematography. Paravi 1989 won at least 31 international honors, including the Camera d'Or, mentioned Spatial at the 1989 Cannes Film Festival, and was screened at the Uncertain Regard. Swaham 1994 won the Bronze Rosa Comuna at the Bergamo Film Meeting in Italy. The first 3D film produced in India, My Dear Kudashathan 1984, was made in Malayalam. The first cinemascope film produced in Malayalam was Thatchali Ambu 1978. .During the early 1920s the Malayalam film industry was based in Tiruvanantapuram, although the film industry started to develop and flourish only by the late 1940s. Later the industry shifted to Chennai formerly Madras, which then was the capital of the South Indian film industry. By the late 1980s, the Malayalam film industry returned and established itself in Kerala with the majority of locations, studios, production and post-production facilities being located in Kochi and Tiruvanantapuram. Several media sources describe Kochi as the hub of the film industry. History Active Malayalam film production did not take place until the second half of the 20th century, there were only two silent films, and three Malayalam language films before 1947. With support from the Kerala state government production climbed from around six a year in the 1950s, to 30 a year in the 1960s, 40 a year in the 1970s, to 127 films in 1980. Origins 1928 The first cinema hall in Kerala, with a manually operated film projector, was opened in Thrissur by José Katukaran in 1907. In 1913, the first permanent theatre in Kerala was established in Thrissur town by Katukaran and was called the José Electrical Bioscope, now Yosh Theatre. The first film made in Malayalam was Vagathakumaran. Production started in 1928, and it was released at the Capitol Theatre in Tiruvanantapuram on 23 October 1930. It was produced and directed by J. C. Daniel, a businessman with no prior film experience, who is credited as the father of Malayalam cinema. Daniel founded the first film studio, the Travancore National Pictures Limited, in Kerala. A second film, Marthanda Varma, based on a novel by C. V. Raman Pillai, was produced by R. Sundar Raj in 1933. However, after only being shown for four days, the film prints were confiscated due to a legal battle over copyright. The first talkie in Malayalam was Balan, released in 1938. It was directed by S. Natani with a screenplay and songs written by Mutukulam Raghavan Pillai. It was produced by modern theatres at Salem in the neighbouring state of Tamil Nadu. Balan was followed by Nanambika in 1940, which was directed by S. Notani. Then came Pralada in 1941, directed by K. Subramoniam of Madras and featuring Guru Gopinath and Thankamani Gopinath. Until 1947 Malayalam films were made by Tamil producers. Artist P. J. Cherian was the first Malayali producer to venture into this field and the trend then changed. 
He produced Nirmala in 1948 with Joseph Cherian and Baby Joseph his son and daughter-in-law in the lead roles as hero and heroine. He also cast many other family members in other roles, breaking the taboo that noble family people do not take up acting. Thus Nirmala became the first film produced by a Malayali, setting many firsts for introducing playback singing, cinema with a social theme where the entire family could sit together and watch it. Artist P. J. Cherian was the first cinema producer to explore the possibility of music and songs in cinema, and thus became the pioneer to introduce playback singing in cinema. The lyrics of the film penned by the legendary Malayalam poet G. Sankara Kurup became so popular that song dance sequences became essential ingredients of Malayalam cinema. Velanakshatram was the first movie to be made in Kerala and it took shape at the Udaya Studios at Alepi. Topic: 1950s. Malayalam cinema has always taken its themes from relevant social issues and has been interwoven with material from literature, drama, and politics since its inception. One such film, Jeevatha Noka (1951), was a musical drama which spoke about the problems in a joint family. In 1954, the film Nilakail captured national interest by winning the President's Silver Medal. It was scripted by the well-known Malayalam novelist Urub, and directed by P. Bhaskaran and Ramu Karyat. Newspaper Boy 1955, contained elements of Italian neorealism. This film is notable as the product of a group of amateur college filmmakers. It told the story of a printing press employee and his family being stricken with extreme poverty. The music took a turn away from the trend of copying Tamil and Hindi song. The poets Tirunenarkarishi Madhavan Nair, Tirunayarkarishi, P. Bhaskaran, O. N. V. Kurup, and V. R. Varma rose up in this period as film lyricists. Brother Lakshmanan, Dakshinamurthy, K. Raghavan, G. Devrajan, M. S. Babaraj, and Pukanthi Vallappan Nair started a distinct style of Malayalam music. Kamukara Purushadaman, Mebub, Kori Kod Abdul Kader, A. M. Raja, P. B. Srinivas, K. P. Udayabanu, Santha P. Nair, P. Leela, S. Janaki, P. Sushila, B. Vasantha, Ranuka, and Jiki were the most prominent singers of the 50s. The drama artist and school teacher Mutukulam Raghavan Pillai lent many of his skills to cinema in this period. 1960s Ramu Karyat, one of the directors of Nilakail, along with P. Bhaskaran, went on to become a successful director in the 1960s and 1970s. P. Bhaskaran directed many acclaimed and hit films in the 1960s and 70s. The cameraman of Nilakail, A. Vincent, also became a noted director of the 1960s and 1970s. Notable films of this decade include Odale Ninu, Bhargavi Nilayam Kemin Marapanu and Irutante Athmavu Malayalam cinema's first color film was Kondam Baka Kote 1961. Kemin 1965, directed by Ramu Karyat and based on a novel of the same name by Thakazi Savasankara Pillai, went on to become immensely popular, and became the first South Indian film to win the National Film Award for Best Feature Film. Most of the films of the 60s were animated by the nationalist and socialist projects, and centered on issues relating to caste and class exploitation, the fight against obscurantist beliefs, the degeneration of the feudal class, and the breakup of the joint family system. In the 1960s, M. Krishnan Nair, Kunchako, and P. Sebramaniam were the leading Malayali producers. Thikurusi Sukumaran Nair, Prem Nazir, Sathian, Madhu, Ador Basi, Bahadur, S. P. Pillai, K. P. Umar, Kadarakara Sridharan Nair, Raghavan, G. K. Pillai, Mutukulam, Joseprakash, Paravar Bharatan, Muthaya, Shankaradi, Govindankuti, K. R. Vijaya, Padmini, Ragini, Sharada, Sheila, Ambika, Jayabharathi, Arumula Panama, Kavior Panama, Lalitha, Pankajavali, Ador Bhavani, Prema, Meena and Sadhana were among the more popular actors active in this period. During the 1950s, 1960s and 1970s, Kunchako made significant contributions to Malayalam cinema, both as a producer and as director of some notable movies. 
He started Udaya Studios in Alepi in 1947, reducing the travel to Madras Chennai for film crew and actors. This boosted Malayalam film production in Kerala. Many directors sprang up in this period. P. N. Menon made Rosie and later Kemparanthi. G. Aravindan and Adore Gopalakrishnan also started work in 1960s and became famous later. Topic. 1970s The 70s saw the emergence of a new wave of cinema in Malayalam. The growth of the film society movement in Kerala introduced the works of the French and Italian new wave directors to the discerning Malayali film enthusiasts. Adore Gopalakrishnan's first film, Swayamvaram brought Malayalam cinema to the international film arena. In 1973 M. T. Vasudevan Nair, who was by then recognized as an important author in Malayalam, directed his first film, Nirmalayam, which won the National Film Award for Best Feature Film. G. Aravindan followed Adore's lead with his Uttarayanam in 1974. K. P. Kumaran's Adhithi was another film which was acclaimed by the critics. Cinematographers who won the national award for their work on Malayalam films in the 1970s were Mankata Ravi Varma for Swayamvaram P. S. Nevas for Mahinayatam and Shah G. N. Karun for Thampu John Abraham, K. R. Mohanan, K. G. George, and G. S. Panikar were products of the Pune Film Institute who made significant contributions. During the late 1970s, some young artists started seeing Malayalam cinema as a medium of expression and thought of it as a tool to revitalize society. A noted director, Aravindan, was famous in Kerala as a cartoonist before he started making films. His important movies include Kanchana Sita (1977), Thampu (1978), Kummati (1979), Chidambaram (1985), Oridathu (1986), and Visthahara (1990). The 1970s also saw the emergence of the notable director P. G. Viswabharan with his debut film Ozukanathayar and mythical film Sathyavan Savithri, which was well accepted. Also, commercial cinema in this period saw several worker-class themed films which mostly had M. G. Soman, Sukumaran and Sadir in the lead followed by the emergence of a new genre of pure action-themed films, in a movement led by action star Jayan who is usually considered the first genuine commercial superstar of Malayalam cinema. However, this was short-lived, and almost ended with Jayan's untimely death while performing a stunt in Kolalakam Topic: 1980s. The Malayalam cinema of this period was characterized by detailed screenplays dealing with everyday life, with a lucid narration of plot intermingling with humor and melancholy. This was aided by the cinematography and lighting. The films had warm background music. In 1981, Fazil directed Manjil Virinja Pukal. Adore Gopalakrishnan made Elipathiyam in 1981. This movie won the British Film Institute Award. K. G. George released films including Yavanika and Adaminte Varyelu. This was the period during which script writer M. T. Vasudevan Nair started teaming up with director Haraharan to produce works like Panchagni, Nakakshathangal, Aranyakam, and Oru Vidakan Viragatha. John Abraham's films such as Ama Arayan addressed people's issues and raised the finance directly from people. The period had movies with humor from directors like Priyadarshan, Sathyan Anthakad, Kamal and Sadiq Lal. Paravi by Shah G. N. Karun was the first Malayalam film to win the Camera Door mention at the Cannes Film Festival, it was the period during which Mohanlal and Mahmoodi rose up. Mohanlal went on to win five national award including two Best Actor, two Special Jury Award and an award for Best Film producer. Mahmoodi won three national award for Best Actor. Mohanlal has the record of having 13 nominations for the Best Actor. 1990s 
Some examples are Matilakal 1990, directed by Adore Gopalakrishnan, Katu Kuthira 1990, directed by P. G. Viswabharan, Amaram 1991, directed by Barathon, 1992, directed by Kamal, Kalukam 1991, directed by Priyadarshan, Kamaladalam by C. B. Malayal, Vidhayan 1993, by Adore Gopalakrishnan, Devayasuram by I. V. Sassi, Manachithrathazu by Fazil, Panthan Mata 1993 by T. V. Chandran, Spadikam 1995 by Bhadran, Commissioner 1994 The King 1995 by Shah G. Kailas, Hitler 1996 by Sadiq and Dasadanam 1997 by Jayaraj. Swaham 1994, directed by Shah G. N. Karun, was the first Malayalam film entry for the competition in the Cannes International Film Festival, where it was a nominee for the Palme d'Or. Murali Nair's Marana Simhasanam later won the Camera d'Or at the 1999 Cannes Film Festival. Guru 1997, directed by Rajiv Ankle, was chosen as India's official entry to the Oscars to be considered for nomination in the Best Foreign Film category for that year, making it the first film in Malayalam to be chosen for Oscar nomination. Topic 2000s. The millennium started with a blockbuster hit, Narasimham. In 2001 came the world's first film with only one actor in the cast, The Guard. Slapstick comedy was the predominant theme of the films of this era. C.I.D. Musa 2003 by Joni Antony, Misa Madhavan 2002 by Lal Jose and Kunjakunan 2002 directed by Sassi Shankar are examples. Sequels to a number of successful films were made. Some movies were examples of exemplary filmmaking, such as Megamalar, Madranambarakatu, Nanandam, Purumazakalam, and Kazcha. In 2008, Malayalam movie artists came together in the multi-star film 20, 20 to raise funds for the AMA. 2010s After several years of quality deterioration, Malayalam films saw the signs of massive resurgence after 2010 with the release of several experimental films known as New Wave or New Generation films, mostly from new directors. New Wave is characterized by fresh and unusual themes and new narrative techniques. These films differ from conventional themes of the past two decades 1990s and, 2000s and have introduced several new trends to the Malayalam industry. While the new generation's formats and styles are deeply influenced by global and Indian trends, their themes are firmly rooted in Malayali life and mindscapes. The new generation also helped the Malayalam film industry regain its past glory. Salim Ahmed's Adaminte Makan Abu was chosen as India's official entry to the Academy Awards to be considered for nomination in the Best Foreign Film category in 2011. Christian Brothers 2011 was released worldwide with a total of 310 prints on the 18th of March. It went to 154 centers in Kerala, 90 centers outside Kerala and 80 centers overseas, making it the widest release for a Malayalam film at that time. This record was later broken by Paruchazi 2014, which released in 500 screens worldwide on the 29th of August. Drishyam 2013 became the first Malayalam film to cross the 500 million mark at the box office. The film was critically acclaimed and was remade in four languages. Later, in 2016, Pulamorugan became the first Malayalam film to cross the 1 billion mark at the box office. In recent years, Malayalam films have been gaining popularity in Sri Lanka. Fans have cited cultural similarities shared between Sinhalese people and Malayalis as a reason why they have been gaining popularity in the country. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Pioneering film making techniques. <inaudible> Newspaper Boy 1955, a neorealistic film, drew inspiration from Italian neorealism. Padayatam was India's first indigenously produced 70mm film, while My Dear Kudashathan was India's first 3D film. O Fabi was India's first live-action, animation hybrid film. Ama Aryan was the first film made in India with money collected from the public. It was produced by Odessa Collective, founded by the director John Abraham and Friends. 
The money was raised by collecting donations and screening Charlie Chaplin's film The Kid, Moonnamathoral was the first Indian film to be shot and distributed in digital format. Jalachiyam was the world first feature film shot entirely on a cell phone camera and it was also an experimental film directed by Sathish Kalathal who is the director of Veena Vadanam, the first documentary film in India shot with the same movie capture medium. Villain is the first Indian film to be shot entirely in 8K resolution. Notable personalities Directors Malayalam cinema's directors have included J. C. Daniel, the director and producer of the first Malayalam film, Vagathakumaran Unlike other Indian films at that time, most of which were based on the Puranas, he chose to base his film on a social theme. Though it failed commercially, he paved the way for the Malayalam film industry and is widely considered the father of Malayalam cinema. Until the 1950s, Malayalam film didn't see many talented film directors. The milestone film Neelakhyal 1954, directed by Ramu Karyat and P. Bhaskaran, shed a lot of limelight over its directors. Ramu Karyat went on to become a celebrated director in the 1960s and 1970s. P. Bhaskaran directed a few acclaimed films in the 1960s. The cameraman of Neelakhyal, A. Vincent, also became a noted director of the 1960s and 1970s. Another noted director of the 1950s was P. Ramadas, the director of the neorealistic film Newspaper Boy 1955. In the 1970s, the Malayalam film industry saw the rise of film societies. It triggered a new genre of films known as parallel cinema. The main driving forces of the movement, who gave priority to serious cinema, were Adore Gopalakrishnan and G. Aravindan. People like John Abraham and P. A. Backer gave a new dimension to Malayalam cinema through their political themes. The late 1970s witnessed the emergence of another stream of Malayalam films, known as middle stream cinema, which seamlessly integrated the seriousness of the parallel cinema and the popularity of the mainstream cinema. Most of the films belonging to this stream were directed by P. N. Menon, I. V. Sassi, P. G. Viswabaran, K. G. George, Barathon, and Padmarajan. In the 1980s and early 1990s, a new array of directors joined the stalwarts who had already made a mark in the industry. This period saw the narrowing of the gap between the different streams of the industry. Directors like K. G. George, Priya Darshan, I. V. Sassi, John Abraham, Fazil, Joshi, Bhadran, P. G. Viswabharan, Kamal, C. B. Malayal, Haraharan, Sathyan Anthakad, K. Madhu, and Sadiq Lal contributed significantly. There were also extraordinary screenwriters like M. T. Vasudevan Nair, T. Damodaran, A. K. Lohathadas, and Srinivasan, whose contributions were also commendable. The 2000s saw a decline in the quality of Malayalam films. Many directors who had excelled in the Golden Age struggled as many of their films continuously failed critically and commercially. As a result, the gap between parallel cinema, now known as art cinema and mainstream cinema now known as commercial cinema widened. The 2000s also saw a commercial film formula being created in line with Tamil and Bollywood films. Directors like Shaji Kailas, Rafi McCartan and Anwar Rashid directed blockbusters which had few artistic merits to boast of. Despite the overall decline, some directors stood apart and made quality cinema. Shaji N. Karun, Lenin Rajendran, Shyama Prasad and Jayraj made films that won laurels. Notable directors who debuted in this time include Blessy, Lal Jose, R. Sharath, Ranjith, Roshan Andrews, Amal Neerad, Ashik Abu, Vineeth Srinivasan and Lijo Jose Pelissari. Out of the 40 National Film Awards for Best Director given away till 2007, Malayalam directors have received 12. The directors who have won include Adore Gopalakrishnan 1973, 1985, 1988, 1990, 2007, G. Aravindan 1978, 1979, 1987, Shaji N. Karun 1989, T. V. Chandran 1994, Jayraj 1998, 2017 and Rajivnath 1999. There are several recipients of the Special Jury Award as well, Mankata Ravi Varma 1984, John Abraham 1987, Shaji N. Karun 1995, and Pradeep Nair 2005. Topic. 
Topic: Film music. Film music, which refers to playback singing in the context of Indian music, forms the most important canon of popular music in India. The film music of Kerala in particular is the most popular form of music in the state. Before Malayalam cinema and Malayalam film music developed, the Keralites eagerly followed Tamil and Hindi film songs, and that habit has stayed with them until now. The history of Malayalam film songs begins with the 1948 film Nirmala which was produced by artist P. J. Cherian who introduced play-back singing for the first time in the film. The film's music composer was P. S. Devakar, and the songs were sung by P. Leela, T. K. Govinda Rao, Vasudeva Kurup, C. K. Raghavan, Sarojini Menon, and Vimala B. Varma, who is credited as the first playback singer of Malayalam cinema. The main trend in the early years was to use the tune of hit Hindi or Tamil songs in Malayalam songs. This trend changed in the early 1950s with the arrival of a number of poets and musicians to the Malayalam music scene. By the middle of 1950s, the Malayalam film music industry started finding its own identity. This reformation was led by the music directors Brother Laxmanan, G. Devarajan, V. Dakshinamurthy, M. S. Babu Raj and K. Raghavan along with the lyricists Vyalar Rama Varma, P. Bhaskaran, O. N. V. Kurup and Srikumaran Thampi. Major playback singers of that time were Kamukara Purushathaman, K. P. Udayabanu, A. M. Raja, P. Leela, Santha P. Nair, P. Sushila, P. Madhuri and S. Janaki. Despite that, these singers got high popularity throughout Kerala and were part of the golden age of Malayalam music 1960 in the later years many non-Malayalis like Mana Day, Talat Mahmood, Lata Mangeshkar, Asha Bosli, Himalata and S. P. Balasubramanyam sang for Malayalam films. This trend was also found among composers to an extent, with film composers from other languages including Naushad Ali, Usha Khanna, M. B. Srinivasan, Bombay Ravi, Shyam, Bapi Lahiri, Lakshmikant Piarelal, Salil Chowdhury, Ilayaraja, Vishal Bardwaj and A. R. Rahman scoring music for Malayalam films. This can be attributed to the fact that film music in South India had a parallel growth pattern with many instances of cross-industry contributions. The late 1950s through mid-1970s can be considered as the golden period of Malayalam film music in its own identity. Along with the leading music directors, the likes of M. B. Srinivasan, M. K. Arjunan, Pukhesenti Vallapan Nair, M. S. Viswanathan, A. T. Umar, R. K. Shakar, Salil Choudhury and lyricists like Tirunainar Karichi Madhavan Nair, Mankambu Gopalakrishnan and Baranikavu Sivakumar, numerous everlasting and super-hit songs were delivered to the music lovers. The soft melodious music and high-quality lyrics were the highlights of these songs. K. J. Yasudas, who debuted in 1961, virtually revolutionized the Malayalam film music industry and became the most popular Malayalam singer ever along with K. S. Chitra. The trio of Vyalar, G. Devarajan and Yasudas also made unforgettable songs like the earlier trio of Kamukara, Tiranenarkarishi and Brother Laxmanan. Yasudas became equally popular with classical music audience and people who patronized film music. He along with P. Jayachandran gave a major face lift to Malayalam playback singing in the 1960s and 1970s. K. S. Chitra debuted in 1979, and by the mid-80s, she became the most sought-after female singer in South India. By the late 1970s, the trends in music started changing and more rhythm-oriented songs with a western touch came with the dominance of music directors like Shyam, K. J. Joy, and Jerry Amaldev. The lyricists were forced to write lyrics according to the tune in these days and were often criticized for quality issues. However, from 1979 to 1980, the revolutionary music director Ravindran along with Johnson and M. G. Radhakrishnan led the second reformation of Malayalam film music by creating melodious and classical-oriented music with the soul of the culture of Kerala. Lyricists like Puvachal Kader, Kavalam Narayana Panikkar and Bichu Tirumala in 1980s and Kaithapram Damodaran Nambuthiri, Garish Puthenchari in 1990s were part of this musical success. Contributions from Kanar Rajan, Bombay Ravi, S. P. Venkatesh, Mohan Sithara, Uzapachan, Sharath, Vidyadaran, Ragukumar and Vidyasagar were also notable in this period. K. J. Yasudas and K. S. Chitra and singers like M. G. Srikumar, G. Venugopal Unnimanan and Sujatha Mohan were also active then. 
A notable aspect in the later years was the extensive of classical Carnatic music in many film songs of the 1980s and 1990s. Classical Carnatic music was heavily used in films like Cheethram (1988), His Highness Abdullah (1990), Baratham (1991), Sargam (1992), and Sapanam (1993). At present, the major players in the scene are young composers like Rahul Raj, Prashant Pillai, San Rahman, Bijabal, Gopi Sundar, Alphonse, Rajesh Muriyesan, lyricists Rafiq Ahmed, Vilar Sarath, and Anil Panachuran, and singers Vineet Srinivasan, Vijay Yasudas, Shweta Mohan. Manjari and Yatsna Radhakrishnan, along with stalwarts in the field. Young composers like Rahul Raj and Prashant Pillai are not only known for their catchy tunes, but also for bringing in a lot of electronics, digital sound, and a variety of genres in Malayalam film scores and songs. The national award winning music composers of Malayalam cinema are Johnson, 1994, 1995, Bombay Ravi, 1995, Uzapachan, 2008, Ilayaraja, 2010, Isak Thomas Kotukapali, 2011, Bijabal, 2012, and M. Jayachandran. 16. Until 2009, the 1995 National Award that Johnson received for the film score of Sukrutham 1994 was the only instance in the history of the award in which the awardee composed the film soundtrack rather than its songs. He shared that award with Bombay Ravi, who received the award for composing songs for the same film. In 2010 and 2011, the awards given to film scores were won by Malayalam films, Pazasi Raja 2010, Score, Ilayaraja and Adaminte Makan Abu 2011, Score, Isaac Thomas Kotakapali. Ravindran also received a special jury award in 1992 for composing songs for the film Bharatham. The lyricists who have won the national award are Vilar Ramavarma 1973, ONV Kurup 1989 and Yusuf Ali Ketcheri 2001. The male singers who have received the national award are K. J. Yasudas 1973, 1974, 1988, 1992, 1994, 2017, P. Jayachandran 1986 and M. G. Srikumar 1991, 2000. Yasudas has won two more national awards for singing in Hindi 1977 and Telugu 1983 films, which makes him the person who has won the most national film awards for Best Male Playback Singer, with eight. The female singers who have won the award are S. Janaki 1981 and K. S. Chitra 1987, 1989. Chitra had also won the award for Tamil 1986, 1997, 2005 and Hindi 1998 film songs, which makes her the person with the most national film awards for Best Female Playback Singer, with six. <laughs> <laughs> Landmark films Kerala State Film Awards The Kerala State Film Awards are given to motion pictures made in the Malayalam language. The awards have been bestowed by Kerala State Chalachitra Academy since 1998 on behalf of the Department of Cultural Affairs of the Government of Kerala. The awards were started in 1969. The awardees are decided by an independent jury formed by the Academy and the Department of Cultural Affairs. The jury usually consists of personalities from the film field. For the awards for literature on cinema a separate jury is formed. The Academy annually invites films for the award and the jury analyzes the films before deciding the winners. The awards intend to promote films with artistic values and encourage artists and technicians. <laughs> <laughs> International Film Festival of Kerala The International Film Festival of Kerala IFFK is held annually in Tiruvananthapuram, the capital city of Kerala. It was started in 1996 and is organised by Kerala State Chalachitra Academy on behalf of the Department of Cultural Affairs of the state government. It is held in November, December every year and is acknowledged as one of the leading film festivals in India. Film studios The Travancore National Pictures was the first film studio in Kerala. It was established by J. C. Daniel in 1926 in Tiruvananthapuram, which was then a part of Travancore. 
Producer director Kunchako and film distributor K. V. Koshi established Udaya Studios in Alapuja in 1947. The studio influenced the gradual shift of Malayalam film industry from its original base of Madras, Tamil Nadu to Kerala. In 1951, P. Sebramaniam established Maryland Studio in Namam, Tiruvanantapuram. The other major studios are Sri Krishna 1952, Kulathor, Ajantha 1958, Kismadu, now extinct, Chithraleka 1965, Akulam, Uma Studio 1975, Velakadavu, Navadaya 1978, Thrikakara and Chithranjali 1980, Thiruvallam, Kinfra Film and Video Park in Kajakudam, Thiruvanthapuram. Topic: <laughs> Organizations The Association of Malayalam Movie Artists is an organization formed by artists of Malayalam cinema. It aims to act against piracy, to safeguard the interests of member actors and actresses, and to serve as a common forum to raise concerns and address issues. The activities of AMA include endowments, insurance schemes, and committees on wages and benefits on revision, funds for research, pensions, and education loans for the children of the members. The organization ventured into film production in 2008 with 20, 20 to raise funds for its activities. Organizations such as Kerala Film Producers Association, Kerala Film Distributors Association, Kerala Cine Exhibitors Federation, Hyperlink Film Club, and Kerala Film Exhibitors Association have coordinated work stoppages. See also Cinema of South India List of cinema of the world List of Malayalam films K.R. Narayanan National Institute of Visual Science and Arts <laughs>